apply. That's how diabetes is defined. But we, we always want to go back to the way to assess the stages of high blood sugar. And so diabetes is, is the, the fifth stage of high blood sugar at which point now it has, it has become so high, that fasting blood sugar has become so elevated, 126 or higher, that now that's definitely diabetes. If the blood sugar is at 100 fasting before breakfast, that is definitely pre-diabetes. It's not, it's not a little bit high, it's already pre-diabetes and it carries with it all those cardiovascular risk factors that make pre-diabetes so serious. And, and then the two hour blood sugar, once it hits 140 after the beginning of a meal, after the beginning of any snack, that 140 plus blood sugar means there's definitely pre-diabetes. Even if you're pre-meal, even if your fasting blood sugar is 85, which is just about right, if your two-hour reading is 140, you have pre-diabetes. The after-meal blood sugars are far more critical to our health than the before-meal blood sugars, generally speaking. And that is why it is critical that we monitor our after-meal blood sugars. Many, many individuals who've had diabetes from one year to 20 years have been in the habit of just checking their fasting blood sugar. Now that's valuable information, but it is not nearly as valuable. It's nowhere, nowhere near as valuable as checking the blood sugar after the meal. And so I encourage you to use the standard two hours after the beginning of the meal. If you have pre-diabetes, use one hour after the meal. If your, your diabetes is getting better and better and better and your, and your two-hour blood sugars start getting closer to 120, 110, then switch to one hour because one hour is going to be more sensitive for you. But, but always write in your book in your, uh, when you, where you're monitoring, where you're logging the information. Always write whether it's a two or a one. Or if your standard is two, just leave it, but if you check it any other time, write down the difference so you can compare effectively. Blood sugar is almost always going to be higher at one hour than at two hours. Almost always. So, so really the optimal fasting blood sugars that we're shooting for is, is somewhere between 70 and 84. Now that's assuming you're not on a medicine. If you're on some medicine, you don't want to be shooting for optimal. You just want to be shooting for getting under stage three, under the 100 fasting blood sugar or pre-meal blood sugar and under the 140. That's what you want to shoot for if you're on medicines. Of course, the, the better you do while on medicines, that means we got to do what? We got to start cutting back on your medicines. That's a good thing. Okay, the medicines aren't there for life. They're there to help control your blood sugars until you can get on a better system. That's really, that's really the way it should be. Until you get on a better system that works, uh, dealing with the actual cause of the problem and not just forcing your body to handle the blood sugar more effectively. Because that doesn't work long term.